Round one of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs have now concluded. Five game sevens. What a first round. Such entertaining hockey. We all know I picked Toronto to go all the way to the Stanley Cup final. That has been blown up. However, we can still predict round two. But let's go over my picks in round one and what happened. So, starting in the Western Conference, we had Colorado and Nashville. I picked Colorado in six games. And what happened? Colorado defeats Nashville in four games. And how did that happen? Well, one, Nashville didn't have Saros, so Riddich started and he got lit up. Then Ingram came in. He played really well, but it just couldn't get it done. Overtime winner by McCarr in game four. Speaking of Cal McCarr, he went to another level again. He's absolutely so smooth on the ice, makes such great decisions. His breakout passes, his takeaways, his limited giveaways. He is the entire package. There was just too much firepower for Colorado, and Nashville just couldn't handle it. My prediction was six. Colorado wins in four. Now we move on to Minnesota and St. Louis. I was wrong here. I had the games right at six, but it was St. Louis beating Minnesota. Now I said in my predictions that we will see all four goalies in this series, and that's exactly what happened. We started with Husso and Fleury. We ended up with Bennington, and of course Talbot came in for game six. Um, I thought Minnesota's goalies would outplay St. Louis's. I was wrong. Bennington found his Stanley Cup footing. Do you remember when St. Louis was last place and they, they made it all the way through, they made the playoffs, and then they, they won the Stanley Cup, and Jordan Bennington was spectacular. That's the Jordan Bennington that showed up this series. And i got to admit, St. Louis, they are built for the playoffs. And then we had the first Game 7, well, the second Game 7, in the Western Conference, and that was the Calgary Flames versus the Dallas Stars. And yes, we went to seven games. I predicted Calgary would win in five. I, of course, was wrong. However, I did say Dallas can't score, which was true. But I said Calgary could, which was untrue. Ottinger was absolutely amazing. Dallas Stars, you have your goalie of the future here. He was brilliant. It was a puck to the head. And just not being able to squeeze that post in Game 7, he was outstanding. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't give the Stars enough credit. They play a tight game, it was a tight series, it was low scoring, and it came down to one shot. And then Edmonton and LA go to seven games. I predicted Edmonton would win in six I didn't really know how this series would go. I just figured McDavid's there and he will do what he can. And he did. Um, McDavid was godly this series. I think he had two points per game. He was laying hits, the speed, the stick handling, everything, just opening up space. And just that goal, that that reassurance goal, that insurance goal, the the second goal to make it 2-0 in Game 7 was huge. And let's give credit to Mike Smith as well. The man at 40-whatever he is now, 100 years old, he found his game. He played great, and he out-dueled quick. Some impacts of this series, obviously no doubty, definitely played a part in the Kings losing. However, the Kings have a bright future. That was a fun, entertaining series. Now we move over to the Eastern Conference, and we'll start with Florida and Washington. I got this one right. Just, it took an extra game. Florida beats Washington in six games. I picked them in five. Florida's run and gun game worked. It also helped that Verhage was literally on the ice for every single Florida goal. He was, he's in the Conn Smythe chatter right now. Um, But the series was closer than people thought, myself included, and Washington was closer to Florida's level than many of us predicted. But the biggest thing from this series, it's going to be that missed empty net in Game 4 for Washington, and Florida comes down and scores. 
They win in overtime. They take game five, and then they take game six. That empty net miss is going to haunt the Washington Capitals. Then we move on to the heartbreak. The team I predicted to win the Stanley Cup, the Toronto Maple Leafs, I predicted them to win in six. They lost to Tampa Bay in seven. I almost had it in six, though. Just took one shot. They lost in overtime. Uh, Vasilevsky is absolutely ridiculous at closing out series. He does it again, um, winning on back-to-backs, even though Toronto found some holes, found some weaknesses. They went back-to-back all series. He's the one who closes it out, only lo- allowing that one goal. Well, he allowed two, but that one didn't count. So he only allowed one goal in Game 7, and that was the difference. Um, this could have been the Eastern Conference Final. It was that good. Just two absolutely fantastic teams. And this series definitely preps Tampa Bay to face Florida and to go for that three-peat. Also, Nick Paul, what a great pickup. We then move over to Carolina and Boston. I chose Carolina in six. They win in seven games. And from this series, I gotta admit, Patrice Bergeron, he still has it. Even if this was, you know, the last hurrah, the the curtain call. What a series for him. Um, Boston had the chance. They got to play against the third string goalie and then in game seven against the backup and they just couldn't get it done. That just shows the depth of Carolina. No Freddie Anderson, who I said was going to play the big role. It wasn't. It was a third string goalie coming in and it was the backup coming in and playing fantastic. It also helps that Boston pulled a Toronto in at Game 7. Not this year's Game 7 for Toronto, but previous year's Game 7s, and they didn't show up. And even though the game shows it was 3-2 and they had, they had some chances, Carolina was the much better team in Game 7. Also, officiating this series, I guess like in every other series, was questionable. And lastly, New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins, I picked New York in seven, and I was right on there, but I thought I was going to be dead wrong. Uh, Shesterkin, um, he looked human in the first couple games, but at his lowest point, down three games to one, he found it. He found it. New York Rangers claw back, um, and I'm just going to say this series was definitely like a character-building series for New York. The big guys didn't show up at the beginning. They showed up at the end. Adam Fox and Panarin did not look good at first. Sabinijad as well. But they showed up in those late games that they needed to win late in the series. And, well, we all know what happened there. We all know what happened in Game 6. And we all know Panarin just won it in overtime in Game 7. Wow. Also, Crosby, he's still insane. He's still insane. That concussion that he had, that was just unfortunate. So is that trio done? I guess we'll find out in the offseason. New York Rangers win in seven. I predicted them in seven. So now to my round two predictions. We're going to start with Colorado and St. Louis. And here I'm taking Colorado in six games. I feel line for line, Colorado is better. Colorado is deeper. Now if Jordan Bennington plays like he did... I think he'll outplay Kemper. However, I've, I just have this gut feeling that Bennington's going to go back to normal. Probably in between his like Stanley Cup play and this season, right in the middle there. He's going to go back to that, and that'll just be overwhelming for St. Louis because Colorado is so deep and there's so much firepower up front. I think that's going to happen after Colorado lights him up in one of the first two games. I predict Colorado in six. Now for what we all been waiting for, the Battle of Alberta, Calgary and Edmonton. And previously, I picked Calgary to make it to the Stanley Cup final and lose to Toronto. I am changing my tune. I'm taking Edmonton in seven games over the Calgary Flames. And there's one reason and one reason only, one player. He is the best player in the world, even though I know I said Matthews was. But nope, McDavid is another level. Look at him in this playoffs. Connor McDavid is going to be the reason Edmonton wins this series. Now, I expect maybe there'll be some struggles early due to you know some clutching, some grabbing, the physicality of it. But once he breaks out, then there's no stopping him. And... 
Calgary can't stop him. The Edmonton Oilers are going to win in seven games, and I'm putting it all on the back of Connor McDavid. And we swing over to the Eastern Conference, Florida, Tampa Bay, and my tune's not really going to change. Um, I would have picked Toronto to beat Florida. In this case, I'm going to pick Tampa Bay to beat Florida. Why? Because Toronto has prepared Tampa Bay for the Florida Panthers. Tampa Bay showed they can lock it down, they can block shots, they can just be very, very good defensively and take advantage of turnovers, which Florida's style, they do turn it over. Vasilevsky will outplay Bobrovsky. Now, don't, don't be shocked or surprised if Florida wins a game in the series 7-1. to one. It wouldn't surprise me. But if that happens, just like in game one, where Toronto won 5 nothing. It's going to just, a little light bulb's going to flicker. It's going to turn right on for Tampa Bay. Cooper is going to lock it down. And overall, I think Tampa Bay, it's weird to say depth-wise because Florida is so stacked, but I'm going to go with experience is going to lead them to victory. Tampa Bay over Florida in six games. And now the last series, Carolina Hurricanes versus the New York Rangers. You know what? Depth showed up in Game 7 versus Boston. You saw Max Domi get those three points. Uh, New York Rangers big guys showed up in Game 7 versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Overall, though, I feel Carolina's four lines are better than New York's. And I think Carolina, if they can stay 5-on-5, will have this series. New York, for them to win, they want to be on special teams and they need special teams to win. With the officiating and the questionable, it, um, we don't know how they're going to be. Is our first period going to call a lot and then the rest of the game call nothing? I don't know how many times New York will get on the power play. And I think that's going to be a big impact on this series, and Carolina will win at 5-on-5. Five five. I'm taking the Carolina Hurricanes in six games. And there you have it. My round two predictions. I am taking Colorado in six games, Edmonton in seven, Tampa Bay in six, and Carolina in six. Comment down below your thoughts, what your predictions are, and what you think of the playoffs so far. For me, even though I'm a Leafs fan and I'm a bit heartbroken, it's been hella fun. Can't wait for round two. Take care.